My name is Ejifor Ezekwe. I'm an eighth year MD PhD student here at UNC, third year medical student currently. Finished my PhD in pharmacology here this April. It'll take me about nine years to complete this program. It took me four years to finish undergrad, so 13 years before I got to residency. And then residency training will be another several years. So it's a long process, but we do a lot of cool stuff along the way. My dad is Nigerian and my mom is from Texarkana. My parents met in college, they moved to Nigeria, got married and had me. Lived there to the age of nine and moved to the States, to Baltimore, and then went to UMBC for college and then came down here. The number one thing for all the people I've known who are really successful is just having people who believe in you. You don't want your next generation to have to rewrite the playbook every time they need to get something done. My grandfather only had an eighth grade education. He grew up in the South at a time where education was not always available. He pushed my mom and her siblings to go to school. My dad's side of the family, my grandfather was a doctor. He was one of the earliest in our tribe, which is the Igbo tribe. And you know, it was incredible seeing that example. And a lot of folks in a lot of black communities, they don't see that and they don't have that guidance. And the guidance they have may not be from people who themselves are challenged. And, you know, they didn't have the mentorship either. And if your mentor is in the streets, you're gonna be in the streets. If your mentor isn't wearing white coats, maybe one day you'll be wearing a white coat. So reach out to those folks, whether you know you want to be a doctor, whether you want to be a scientist, whether you want to be both. You know, there are a lot of good doctors here who serve as mentors to all of us students. And my hope is to be a professor at medical school someday. But I think the more folks of color you have on any faculty, the more realistic the possibility seems. That's why mentorship is key to me, and I think it wanted to be a massive part of my career and my life. Diversity is needed in medicine and in research because we all have different experiences. We all have different understandings of what is needed. Some of my interests in rheumatology, so rheumatology and a lot of autoimmune diseases tend to affect folks of color. And uniquely from the perspective of a person who has an MD as well, you see those challenges. You see the places where medicine is maybe not doing an adequate job addressing the problems that people face. And that's the sort of the power of research to me. It's a tool to better human health and to make people's lives better and there's not many things more exciting for those who are called to that lifestyle. I think reality is, you know, yes, people look at you differently when you're in a white coat. Then you become a doctor. But before that, you're just another black guy, right? So what does that tell you about your perceptions of who black people are? I think that's a question that people need to pose to themselves. There are definitely not enough black males in medicine. And I think seeing real black doctors take care of you, be excellent at what they do, can change your mindset when you see another black person. I came here when I was 21 and I'm leaving hopefully when I'm 29. I'm married to a wonderful lady. I don't want for anything and neither does she. We're standing on the shoulders of all who laid the path for us, whether it was my African family, whether it's my American family, right, who experienced slavery at some point. Without all those incredible sort of experiences and all those incredible sacrifices, all those incredible people, Without them, I don't sit here today. And I also stress to other folks out there that I know some of those people may exist in your life and I think you have to be thankful for them and know they're gonna be the reason behind your success. There's so many ways to get where you wanna go. And I've seen people have to apply multiple times. I've seen people struggle on the first pass, but that dream is enough. If you want it and you feel called to it, you'll get there. And when you get there, it's sweeter than you can imagine. Trust me. That PhD means a lot. As hard as things have been and as long as things have taken, it's worth it. My name is Ejifo Ezekwe, and I'm a black man in a white coat. <laughs>